We are the enterprise OpenStack company. Um, our product is Piston Enterprise OS, private cloud software built on OpenStack. So we help the Fortune 1000 tackle big data problems by making it easy and affordable to run their own IT infrastructure while freeing them from vendor lock-in. So uh, the problem that a lot of companies have today, um, as Yobi mentioned this morning, is that um, at scale, uh, our current model for IT infrastructure no longer works. First of all, it's complex. Uh, most data centers are full of dozens of specialized equipment and appliances. Uh, compute over here, storage over here, multiple networks cabling the, them together. It's so complex, it requires a team of systems administrators just to manage and operate it. The current model is expensive. So to scale up, not only does a company have to buy bigger, more powerful appliances, um, but they often have to increase their employee headcount, which greatly impacts their bottom line. Um, and finally, last but not least, our current model is proprietary um, and locks you in. So the most popular virtualization and private cloud platforms today is proprietary, which means once you've bought into their platform, you are stuck and they can change their pricing on you at any time. So if we're going to tackle big data, our current model for IT infrastructure no longer works. It's too complex and too expensive to scale out. We need something simple and we need something affordable. And most importantly, we need something that frees us from vendor lock-in. So what we need is OpenStack, the world's leading open standard for building public and private clouds. But before I get into telling you about our product, I'm gonna tell you why we're the right team to solve this problem. My co-founder Josh and I came from the NASA Nebula uh, cloud project where uh, we ran infrastructure services for NASA and the White House. Our other co-founder Chris, who's here in the audience with me, hi Chris, um, came from Rackspace where he worked on cloud technology. When NASA and Rackspace partnered in 2010 to launch OpenStack, we were there. OpenStack is in our DNA and we formed Piston Cloud specifically to bring it to the enterprise market. So let's talk about our product. Piston Enterprise OS is the first and only fully automated bare metal cloud operating system built on OpenStack and the first OpenStack distribution specifically focused on making IT easy, secure, and open for the enterprise market. There are three components. We have OpenStack, null tier architecture, and Moxie HA. So let's talk about OpenStack. We believe security starts at the bare metal so we've uh, developed an extremely easy and secure 10-minute hands-free installation process. Just plug your cloud key into your top of rack switch, and in less than 10 minutes, you have your own uh, secure private cloud uh, built on OpenStack. <laughs> Next, we have null-tier architecture, which is an extremely simple converged infrastructure model that puts compute, storage, and management on every server. Uh, which makes it extremely uh, easy. It basically eliminates complexity in the data center. Um, this is an extremely easy model to scale out. You simple, simply rack and cable another server, and our software takes care of the rest. This is based on commodity gear you can buy from any hardware vendor. So not only is it affordable, but uh, we freed you from vendor lock-in. Finally, we have Moxie HA. So this is our secret sauce that makes your cloud highly available and disaster proof. So Moxie HA automates 99% of systems management tasks in your cloud and makes running your own IT infrastructure extremely easy. So in a Piston Enterprise OS private cloud, uh, your servers collectively self-manage and dynamically allocate compute and storage across the cloud. So and because all servers are, um, can handle any task, if one of them fails, um, another simply picks up where it left off with zero impact to your running VMs or your data. So Piston Enterprise OS means that um, your private cloud never goes down and your data is never lost no matter what. So that's how Piston Enterprise OS works. Now let's talk about who it's for. The private cloud market is estimated at about $70 billion. And based on our experience in that market so far, 
we think a Piston Enterprise OS is for any company in any vertical tackling big data who wants an easier, more affordable way to scale their IT infrastructure. Our pricing is very simple, $3,500 per physical server per year, that includes our software, 24 by 7 enterprise customer support, and an update service. Um, so back to pricing, not only is this about a quarter of the cost of VMware, but um, because we allow you to reduce headcount in the data center by 90%, this is an incredible savings. So um, I know 5,000 servers isn't that much, but for example, if you're an enterprise customer deploying 5,000 servers, you're going to save $63 million per year in the first year alone. Um, partners and customers. So we've got great uh, partners. Many of them are here in the audience. Um, and we've uh, recently announced one of our first customers, Radio Free Asia, the nonprofit arm of the State Department. Uh, we've received incredible response from the market. We have over 25 pilots currently underway uh, that we're hoping will move to full implementation uh, within the next year. Kristen, i got to cut you short there. Your time's up. Okay. Sorry. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Don't go away. Okay. Okay, guys. Yobi? What's your exit? <laughs> exit? What exit? We're a billion dollar company in five years. Good enough. <laughs> I like that. Go big or go home. That's right. <laughs> You used the phrase um, uh, private cloud that never goes down. Could you speak a little bit how you've solved any issues, any and all issues associated with upgrades, maintenance, and careless operators? Yes. Um, so we use something, um, we use something called the Paxos algorithm, which is uh, basically what uh, Google and Apple and Facebook and several other large companies who deal with scale issues uh, use to, um, to manage uh, master election of um, services. Um, actually, I'm going to have my CTO stand up here. This is Christopher McGowan, as I mentioned. He's probably uh, going to be able to give you a better picture of how we do that from a technical standpoint. Hi. So we, Gretchen said we use the Paxos algorithm to master elect all the services. Underlying the Piston Enterprise OS, we have a distributed file system built on Ceph, which is a distributed file system that is was written by DreamHost. Um, within that, that's the block storage layer for all of your virtual machines. And we have within our Moxie HA store, or within our Moxie HA, we enable live migration of VMs when they go down. So if a server is going down and we can, uh, we get the alert, we get an ACPI shutdown, we can move that VM off immediately. Um, and if it doesn't, we have a Reaper or a watchdog that brings it up immediately if it failed. So if the server itself crashed, we can bring it up to the last known stable position where we've taken a snapshot and brought you up to that 99% point. Gretchen, uh, nice presentation. Thank you. Uh, similar question to the, from um, the other groups. Uh, most of my cloud or private cloud work is around spinning up dev and test environments where I need to surge big data and then move it around so I don't have to invest in the in the, um, in the other environments. We don't have a lot of internal talent um, and a lot of time to, to do these things. Uh, you know, it's, it's easy for me to go to the vendors that already do this. Uh, mm -hmm. I know there's, a, there's some lock-in, there's some cost, but how do, you, how do you get started? Where do you get started? Have you, do you have some success stories, some examples on how you do that? Um, yeah, so um, the way you get started is um, you pick a couple of projects uh, that you think might be a candidate for this type of model and uh, give it a try. Um, you know, enterprise, you know, it's a long sales cycle. You know, no enterprise is going to jump right from one thing to another. You know, you're going to have to test it out, kick the tires. You know, we've got enterprise customers uh, running pilots of our, our software. You know, they'll chew on that thing for six to 12 months, you know, and that's just uh, what has to happen. Um, so, you know, I would say pick a project and give it a try and, you know, if it works, how are you going to, how are you going to last that six to 12 month cycle on these crazy long sales cycles? I mean, do you, do you have enough runway? Yes. Okay. 
Yeah, it's so like, I mean, I, I, I have to take her for her word, yeah, right? Yeah, runway. Which was, which was just the, yeah. The, the, the runway builders. Yeah, so, yeah. so we are going to raise a Series B later this year. So. Okay. So one of the questions around um, enterprise adoption is how large companies get it and integrate it into their operations, whether mm -hmm. it be how they deal with change management or how they deal with training their people or even how they deal with kind of the IT finance management chargeback so you don't have people spinning up VMs all over the place and then letting them run forever. Mm -hmm. What do you offer to help you know, get that actually adopted as opposed to kind of bringing in a technology solution but really getting it running in production? Um. I'm sorry, could you rephrase that? How do you help enterprises integrate your solution into mm -hmm. their overall operating framework in, in terms of all of the different things that they need to do to actually run production systems? So um, we are OpenStack experts and we do um, have a professional services arm of our business. So um, we certainly will come in and help um, our customers integrate um, our solution into what they're running. Anyone else? More questions? Questions from the room? 